everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wing Closet at Wing Studio One. Today I get to do something that I always love doing and that is try on some of my very favorite wig styles. I have selected six John Renault wig styles to show you today in just a big closet takeover by John Renault. This try on is just to remind you of the huge sale that's going on at Wig Studio One, the Mothers and Mothers of Others Day wig sale. All John Renault is on sale from May 2nd through May 10th, 30% off throughout that period of time. Just use the code JR30. So this is the Mothers and Mothers of Others Day sale. I'm just honoring all of the beautiful, nurturing women out there. So let's get started, coming up. addition to my John Renault collection that I have on here. This is the, the style called January, but it's in the brand new color called Flurry. It's a part of the Arctic collection. A beautiful silver lavender color with a medium brown root. I love January style itself. Um, Mid-length curly styles are just one of probably my favorite genre. Um, of wig styles that features a lace front and a full monofilament top. Well done. Nice fine fibers. And even the knots at the front seem to be nice and fine. Well done. And this color is just a, a beautiful like medium silver shade and then that is heavily dispersed with some plum. Plum purple. I actually wore it with a little bit of a lavender top. I didn't realize that until I put it on, but it, it goes pretty well. I love the curl pattern on this. It's just the right length. Do it, does anybody out there have a January? Part it wherever you want. Let's try on the next one. So next I'm wearing John Renault's Heidi. This is in the color 1426. This is not a rooted shade. Um, it has a lot of honey tones in it, some red gold and then some light butterscotch. It's a very warm tone. I love Heidi. I think this is a universally flattering style. So what I love the most about Heidi is that I think it's uh, just very flattering. It has this seven inch area coming right off of the lace front. It frames the face beautifully. All the layering is just done to perfection. It's got a slight wave to it. It's mid to long wave. I always enjoy wearing it. Now this one has a lace front, a mono top, and then open, uh, open sides and back. The lace front is done very well on this one. And even though it has a monofilament top, a lot of mono features on Heidi, there's a ton of permatease. Um, just be aware of that. Now, I'm a big fan of permatease, but for those of you out there that are not fans of permatease, I'm actually gonna show you Rachel, which is a sister wig to Heidi that has no permatease. It's beautiful for updos. Beautiful, beautiful style. Let's try on Rachel. So I'm back wearing Rachel. This was the first Rachel um, that I had and it is in the color 12 FSA shaded praline. A beautiful, beautiful application of this color. I just feel, I feel so special in this wig. It's completely hand tied. It's more of the hand tied version of Heidi that I just showed you, minus the permatease. part it wherever you want. The fiber seems to be a little more fine uh, in denier than the Heidi. It has a slight wave to it. I've had several Rachels. Each of them have a bit of a different a wave pattern. All beautiful. There might be a slight graduation here, but overall just a mid-length to long wavy style. I 
I just love putting this in updos um, with the hand tied cap. You can just do so much with this style. This would be great wedding hair, special occasion hair. I can remember uh, taking it to Las Vegas with me and this was an evening wig for me. I, um, I really enjoyed wearing it in updos. This is right out of the box, so I knew no, I'd have to rework the top of this a little bit just to get it back into to my taste. Just always beautiful, beautiful stuff. Just gorgeous. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So I'm sure you all remember this one. Uh, this style made my picks, top picks for 2019. This is Kendall in the beautiful shade Palm Springs Blonde. Beautiful ash tone blonde with a dark ash blonde root. That rooting is absolute perfection. Fine fibers on this style. Lace front, monofilament top. You can part it wherever you like. And if you're not getting enough lift, out of your Kendall because there's very little permatease along that monofilament. Try working the part. Go with a wide part. Sometimes by taking the, the root out of its normal direction, it'll cause a little bit of resistance, which will yield some lift and volume. Likewise, if you're not a fan of volume, it's easy to get a nicer, uh, more subdued look out of this style as well. on to the next one. So I did want to throw a shorter style in there as well. This is John Renault's Ignite. You've all seen my reviews on this style. This was one of the very first styles uh, that I loved when I first started my wig journey. It was very professional. Everybody at work loved this style on me. I was so, so tickled to have some hair, but I gotta tell you, when I first tried this on, it felt like too much hair to me. And that happens when uh, you're used to not having a whole lot of hair. I mean, most of us have hair loss of some kind. And so when you have a wig and it's got a normal amount of hair on it, it always feels kind of like it's too much, um, but you gradually kind of get used to it. I love the feel of these heat friendly fibers. They've got a soft velvety texture to them, much like human hair. Now Ignite has a lace front, but then it's open uh, top sides and back. Lots and lots of permatease on the top. This is in the color 22F16, blonde brownie. It's not rooted. Beautiful wedge back. It's a very short nape. And these side pieces here are about eight and a half inches and they just sort of hug the jawline. Gives you as much flexibility as a full monofilament top. Cute, cute style. I could just spend hours in front of the mirror working with this cute little style. So I have not worn this style for a really long time. It's been boxed up. I'm really, really excited to wear it again. So this is Sarah. Sarah in the color Palm Springs Blonde. Sarah is completely hand-tied, loose spiral curl, long, long, long. I would say right around 20 inches long in its curl pattern. Lace front, monofilament top, hand-tied base. Again, that beautiful Palm Springs Blonde with that dark blonde root. You just absolutely cannot tell that that's not your own hair growing out of your scalp, can you? Just impeccable, absolutely impeccable. Now these, these curls here, I have not washed this one yet. 
Um, but these curls here are ones that I would just want to kind of rake my fingers through or use a wide tooth comb. I would never take a brush uh, to these little loose spiral curls. I wouldn't want them to frizz out. And I think that's my, that might be what would happen if you tried to brush this out. Now, if you have brushed out your Sarah and you wanna recapture the original curl pattern, all you have to do is maybe wash it, let it dry, or spritz it with water, kind of give it a scrunch and let it dry. I'm not a big fan of using product in my hair. I think it attracts dirt and makes you have to wash it more often. Um, but I will take some silicone uh, spray or some conditioning spray to these curls just to, just to make sure they're well moisturized and they stay as intact as possible. You can kind of see some fuzzies there. How beautiful is this though? Just gorgeous. bringing it out of its trained pattern really creates a lot of lift on top, doesn't it? Which might be really cute for an updo. All right, so I'm gonna bring out my last style to try on today. Okay, last but not least, do you remember when I reviewed this beautiful style? This is Gigi by John Renault in the color Salted Caramel. Oh, just a beautiful light auburn tone shade. I just love it. All these flippy layers, a beautiful practical bang area. So, so flattering. It's got that monofilament, full monofilament top, lace front, gorgeous, gorgeous. Fine fiber. And it does have enough blonde to satisfy me, but it gives me that, that auburn. I do love the shade. Pretty feminine and flattering. joining me today for this try on and celebration of the John Renault sale going on at Wig Studio One uh, from the 2nd of May through the 10th of May in honor of mothers and mothers of others. Use the code JR30 for 30% off of your John Renault styles. See you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.